Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going on Burmese Python, and to get there, you hit Indigo. Now, I'm gonna show you the easy way down. But, that rock roll that's blind <laughs> is bypassable, but it just feels like a little bit cheating. But I'll cheat here and miss the rocks. And uh, I'll show you the easy line through the woods. What I like to do is go far right over here. Ooh, then far left. And you can bypass a lot of this stuff. Now this one, ooh, no. <laughs> kind of balancing on the front wheel, but you can bypass those rocks, these rocks, a little drop. And as long as you can deal with roots okay, you can really green circle your way through this top section. So that's part one. All right, for part two, we get into the berms. But first, a little rock garden. And then it's fun time, baby. Oh, so much G-force in the first one. Now I stay to the right to avoid a big drop here. Kind of just hit the rocks, lean the bike over, jump that, woo! Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Squared that off. And you're just riding the roller coaster at this point. Rock garden. And then you get to the service road. All right, from the service road, you stay right on Burmese. And I stay all the way right to do the smaller of the two drops. Then we're back to Berms. Super fun. Trout that a bit. And I'm thinking stay forward, stay loose. No front brake once you're in the turn. Leaning the bike over as opposed to steering. And you can kind of link these pretty well. So we go across the way here for a little bit of a rockier section of berms. Oh yeah. Ooh. Where there's a uh, mandatory drop. Oh yeah. And then this is the hardest section. I like to stay right, like all the way to the right. And you got two drops to do in a row. One, two, oh. And then, kind of straight down. Whew. Cheers. Drop card and drop. Another one. And at this point, I am goosed. Gonna rest up before the big jumps. All right, the last section is a big step up. And then, Hellbender. You gotta merge with the other trail, but. Stay back on these. Drop here. And then the first jump is the better of these two. And that is the easiest blue way down. Burmese Python from Indigo. Freaking rocks, man. Get over to Beach Mountain. Maybe I'll see you here. Cheers, till the next ride. 
Hey, what's up, you beautiful people? I'm Greg, and it's beer time. I've got a Bramari glass for a Bramari beer, because I'm nice like that. And today we've got Hekanar, bruh. This is a 6.7% IPA from Bramari out of Asheville, but the hops are a little worrisome. We've got Citra, that's fine, Comet, Centennial, and CTZ, which is some combination of Columbus, Tomahawk, and Zeus. These are all high alpha acid hops, which means they're super bitter. And they're also very old, you know, like throwback IPA. Comet has been around since like the 1960s. And so these are really bittering hops, which is not necessarily my cup of tea, but let's see how this thing smells in the glass. It pours kind of an amber color. I'm thinking West Coast IPA. And that smells like fusel. <laughs> There's like a gasoline thing to it. Yeah, dank. Probably going to get some pine out of this. Cheers. Oh, that is cool. That is weird. I have never had a beer that tastes like this. This, <laughs> if you want a weird tasting note, this tastes like Werther's Original. This is like grandma's butterscotch somehow in an IPA. Let me make sure that I'm not going crazy. That's the only note I get. I'm not really getting any fruit. No, it tastes like a butterscotch candy. So that's cool. This is a nice like curveball IPA to mix it up when you've got a bunch of juice bombs. Gotta give it to Bramari though. They're always doing weird stuff. Like I remember having a beer that had pizza in it called Pizza Ships and it was a, a pale ale or something like that. I don't necessarily know that this was intended to be a butterscotch IPA, but that's what it is. So if you're into that kind of thing, go check out Hekanar from Bramari in Asheville and get yourself a glass. They have some beautiful glassware there as well, but everything that they do is super interesting and this is no exception. Butterscotch IPA. So cheers and uh, thanks grandma.